Tourists from Jiangxi province are experiencing what it's like to be actors. It costs 2,800 yuan for visitors to take part in their own drama, and the finished film will be sent to them a week later. In 2000, Hangdian started to promote experiential tourism. In the same year, the concept of cultural industry was proposed at the fifth plenary session of the 15th Communist Party of China Central Committee for the first time. Nowadays, this film studio receives on average 50,000 visitors every day. However, two decades ago, it had nothing to do with film and television at all. At the beginning of China's reform and opening up, the 83-year-old Xu Wenrong wanted to promote tourism in Hongdian, a place without famous mountains and great rivers. But man-made sites lacked appeal to tourists. Could Hongdian become a film base like Wuxi? In 1993, the comprehensive reform of the film industry drove China's filmmaking further towards marketization. Xu Wenrong decided to build a film studio. At the same time, the government had decided to expedite the development of the tertiary sector. That greatly enhanced Xu's confidence. Xu built Guangzhou Street, where the film The Opium War was shot. Zhang Xianchun is the designer of The Opium War's props and Guangzhou Street. With a budget of 100 million yuan, The Opium War set a Chinese box office record at the time. In 1995, a series of policies were put into effect in the film industry. China began to introduce foreign movies and incentivize private investors. Since then, a batch of great films were produced. In 2009, the government published the plan on reinvigoration of the cultural industries. This move inspired Xu and Rong to invest 30 billion yuan to build a new summer palace tourist site. Combining real scene shows, folk events, and culture tourism products, Hangdian World Studios is expanding fast. Over the last four decades, China's culture industry started from scratch and maintained high-speed growth. It has been driven by people's increasing wealth and their constant pursuit of a higher quality of life. China now produces about 15,000 episodes of TV drama each year, while the country has nearly 55,000 movie screens. Everyone can stream live videos. With e-reading, animations and games, cultural expositions and fashion shows, the culture market in China is thriving. The added value of culture and related industries has reached nearly 3.5 trillion yuan, making up 4.2% of China's GDP. It has become a powerful pillar of support for China's economic transformation and upgrade.